Don't you hate it? <laughs> hey? Yeah. Everybody gets all weirded out around the holidays. Well, you know, you, you, you kind of expect it. You know, families getting together again. I mean, look at me. Look at me. My family, we're celebrating Chuseok together, yeah. right? Yeah. It's the first Thanksgiving I've spent not at Agnes's family's place. Okay. Now I got to spend it with my perfect brother Stan and his perfect Korean wife Esther and, that's and their what perfect I'm little kids Lenny and Carl. See, it's not the good things. It's the anxiety about yeah. seeing your family that's like the problem. Perverse competition. Evening. Hey, good evening. Have a seat. Come on in. Um, Randy, this is... Carla. <laughs> right. I, uh, never forget a face. what we have to be thankful for. Nice, Pete. I, I want it in a raffle. Amir, his kids go to a private school. Mm -hmm. Of course, the tickets are five bucks a piece. And uh, I happen to be the lucky winner today, so I get the old dirty bird. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, it's great. It reminds me of home. I What's like this? That. It's eggplant. Don't. You know how much this thing costs me? Eggplant's not eggplant? for Thanksgiving. Arrangement. Look, I put my order in like a couple of weeks ago. It's from Allison's Florist. Sunflower. So Ooh. is this your centerpiece? Is this is my centerpiece. Nice. Nice. nice harvest team. You bought this? Yeah. For a pretty penny. Hello. Like $150. Whoa. Put it over here. I'd make you one of those for 20 bucks. <laughs> that ain't the key. I got some, sure. some decorations that I'm going to be making because I'm uh, for my for my uh, table there. Really? Hand turkeys, not the kind of hand turkey you're thinking about either. I know what mm -hmm. hand turkeys you're talking right. about. You guys gotta help me. I don't know. Oh, I want yellow. Hand turkeys you just have to trace about. your hand onto the paper and then you cut it out, it looks like a turkey. Black? Oh, you I want, want a black work. hand turkey? Why don't you get your kids <laughs> to do this? My uh, kids are too lazy and I'm not gonna let a bunch of snot-nosed girls ruin Thanksgiving. Well, I don't have a pen. Do you have a pen? What do you want us to use? Oh, I got some markers here. You have markers? Don't sniff them, them, they can really get you a bit. Yeah. I need something hard. You know what I'm saying? So I'm picking up some little things at the Korean grocery store down in Little Korea for my mom and a bump it to Tim, Agnes's brother. Oh, yeah? And I haven't seen him since, you know, the breakup. And uh, it was a little bit weird, a little awkward. And because, uh, you know, we used to, I used to spend Thanksgiving with my fiance's family. And that's her. That's her brother. And so it was kind of weird, you know? We broke Just, up. Yeah. How are you doing with that, by the way? How's ex fiance? Ex fiance. Are you yeah. Okay with all that? Yeah, you know, the weird thing is, I, I kind of miss, I don't miss Agnes. Yeah. But I miss having. The idea. Not exactly. Yeah, sort of. But I miss having a date. You know, just someone who could be with me so that my family wouldn't think I'm a complete loser. Just because ask it's... somebody to go with you. Then you'll... Yeah, I guess. But, well, you know. If you're ever thinking of getting back with her, you should use her. You should use her to uh, plan your wedding. What? Oh no 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 no! I don't I don't do that. Well, you're an event planner. I yeah, mean... I plan events, not oh, weddings. Not, Trust oh, me, you okay. you didn't want to get involved with this wedding. No, anymore. I came close to one, but not uh, not going to do weddings. She knows. Too that. much emotion involved. Hmm. And it's a bit of a business, you know. Thanks. I don't need to get. It's too much potential for disaster when other people's hearts are involved in it. And it's not always both people's hearts that are involved, you know. Right. Mm. Right. There's always one that loves the other one more than the other. So, who wants some Korean treats? You know, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this thing. That's sick. Well, just cook it. I mean, if you didn't want a turkey, why did you enter the raffle anyways? I didn't want to look like a cheapskate. I had to support the kids, you know? And, and I've never even used the oven in my place, so that's of no use. Anyways, look, I'm going to be landing at four o'clock on Saturday at Louisville International Airport. Nice, what you doing there? Kentucky, I'm going to join the KKK. What? No, no, I'm going to Churchill Downs. You know where the Kentucky Derby is? Oh, horse racing. I hate horse racing. 
It's the sickest thing. I mean, these poor horses, you make the, you whip them so they can run fast around a track so people can profit on it. And if they get hurt, like they break their leg or something, they shoot them. Yeah, they shoot horses because if they get hurt, it's the humane thing to do. You don't want them running around on a broken stick, right? Yeah, but they, gotta... wouldn't, they wouldn't break their legs unless, you know, people were demanding that they run around the track. Yeah, but they're animals, Well, okay? they should be free. They should be wild and out there and, and free to live their lives. Yeah, but then you couldn't make any money off them like I'm going to make once I invest in one. I'm going to invest in a baby horse that's going to grow up to be a fast horse, and then I'm going to make some fast money. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Lots. You know, it's kind of scary how badly Tammy wants to kill that turkey, eh? Oh, man. She, well, you're going to let Tammy kill a turkey? What? Hey, you let your kids do what they want to do. What are you guys doing for, for Thanksgiving? Anything interesting? Oh, hanging with my mom, fighting whether or not we want to put nuts in the stuffing again. <laughs> uh... <laughs> not much over at my household, just the three of us. My sister took her kids and went to her husband's family, whatever. That's why I brought my flower arrangement. Yep. Very uh, festive. Yeah, spruce up my table. Nice. So what about you there, Seinfeld? What do you got going on? Well, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. You don't celebrate Thanksgiving? No, I'm Jewish. It don't matter if you're Jewish or what you are, all right? I it's know. not about that. It's about when we came over to this great land and the native people showed us around, pointed out different stuff, showed us where to catch fish and whatnot, and they brought us turkeys. They, they didn't bring us turkeys. Whatever. They didn't. That it's was a, in the States. <laughs> it's about more than that. It's just about being with friends and family and yeah. being thankful yeah. for what we have. That's and right. Being poor. <laughs> being poor? Yeah. I don't really have any money to spend Thanksgiving, okay? My roommates decided to move out on me this week on about a week's notice, so by oh, Sunday I'll be all by myself in my place. Although, I won't be all by myself because Victoria will come over and I'll have to break up with her. But that might be difficult because she's, uh, what did you call her? Uh, crying, yeah, the crying, crying Klingon. Klingon. There you go. And I would go home except I'd have to hear my parents rag on me about uh, my financial situation. So, uh, let's just say I don't really feel like celebrating. The best part of my weekend is going to be seeing Kill Bill, finally. Finally, I get to see it this weekend, Tarantino right? Yeah, film? it opened today. That's the highlight of your weekend. Well, yeah. Hey, <laughs> have dinner with my folks. You'll see why. He's one uh, of uh, he's one of America's true tours. I mean, Woody Allen, Tarantino. Mm-hmm. Right. Still yeah, making it. So. Do, do you like his films? Sure, as much as the next gal. Yeah. yeah. Favorite one? Uh, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Is Good that answer. the only one you've seen? No, I've seen All Reservoir right. Dogs. Okay. The whole. No. Thanks. No, didn't do it for you. No. Uh, didn't do it for Agnes either. She oh yeah. Hated That's Tarantino films. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. She despised them. <laughs> Being like, yeah. You know, well, gee, she despised everything I went and I enjoyed. And That's <laughs> not the right person for you. No. But behind you. Yeah. But you know what? My folks loved her though. She was the perfect date, the perfect woman. Yeah. Just because she's perfect yeah. for you doesn't mean, or they think you're perfect for you yeah. doesn't mean she actually is. Yeah, you gotta know what's, trust what's in there. Yeah. yeah I know, yeah, I've been through it. Yeah? Family loved, loved an ex of mine, ex fiance actually. Oh. Yeah. Great guy, Giovanni, right. but not for me. See, if you ever want to get elected, it's very easy. You just tell people, I'm not gonna raise your personal taxes, but I'm gonna screw up the economy of the entire province. That's just like what McGinty's doing. Good for McGinty. Doing. Really? He actually did something right. Corporate tax. If you raise corporate tax, corporations leave the province and run off to Alberta or wherever the heck sure, in the world the sure. corporate corporate tax is lower. No, that's corporate propaganda. Okay, how many years? How many years has it been since they've raised corporate taxes? It's been 18 years. It's ridiculous. But the reason it hasn't been raised in 18 years is because it's a really bad idea to raise it. Yeah, it's a bad idea for the corporations. It'll be good for the rest of us. No, okay, the, the rest of us are people. in trouble if the economy is bad. Okay, okay you do need. Do you realize how many homeless people there are in Toronto? Okay, you they know seem what to be everywhere. Exactly. You know what I'm doing for Thanksgiving? I'm going to be going to a homeless shelter, and I'm going to be donating my time. All Good right? for you. It's, Give you them a what? tax cut while you're at it, too. Okay. You know what? I'm going to offer you something here. You know, for Thanksgiving, how about, how about you donate your turkey? You know what? That sounds like a great idea. Good. I will donate it to them. All you have to do is give me $10, because that's what it costs me to donate it. Are you serious? Two raffle tickets, five bucks each. It's cost. Okay, you are one of the wealthiest people that I know. How cheap are you? 
You won the turkey. It cost me ten dollars. I could resell. I could resell this. This has a resale value. It's Thanksgiving, Pete. This is worth at least twenty-five bucks. Come on. No. You don't understand how things work. That's and you are cheap, cheap men. That's oh, pretty good. Are those good? Is this fire? Pretty what is good. the barn on fire? Or? No, it's a red oh, barn. It's a good oh, color okay. Don't put your day job. Don't put your day job <laughs> there, Liz. Well, I'm good at it. I'm telling good. you. It's good color oh, wow. oh, thanks. Hey, are you? Yeah, no, I'm okay. Fine. Got a bit of a bellyache, eh? Wait till after yeah. Thanksgiving, I'm gonna have a horrible bellyache. One time before dinner, I weighed myself, and then I weighed myself after. I gained 14 pounds. Gained 14 pounds. That's right. From dinner. What'd you smoke a big joint before you <laughs> ate Thanksgiving dinner? Well, I always do. Can't well, do that anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> well, made it illegal again. It's illegal. Yeah, you didn't hear about that. I thought it was legal now. They made it legal, like not like not a even minute. a year ago. Yeah, for like a minute, exactly. They put it back on the books in Ontario. American pressure. Exactly. Ah. American pressure. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Happy Americans. Thanksgiving. Americans, they don't even know when Thanksgiving is. That's their problem. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how long did you date your uh, ex-fiancé for? Uh, he was high school sweetheart, Giovanni and Carla, like popular. Wow. Yeah, 19, he proposed. I said yes, thought it was the right thing to do, and realized it wasn't the right thing to do for me. You know? Yeah. It's what was right for the family, and if it had been someone else, maybe, but not for me. Right. So uh, I cut it off. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just broke it on off? Yeah. How long? How, yeah. How far along were you? It was uh, an eight-month engagement and okay. rehearsal dinner. Ooh. Carla pulled the plug. <laughs> that close yeah. to the deadline. You wow. know what? I, I tried as much as I could, and and I realized I was just doing it for everyone else and not for me. And uh, rehearsal dinner, saying our thank yous. Uh, it just came out. Good for you. Thank Good you, for and you. don't bother like coming that. tomorrow. That's wow. bold. And your family took it. Uh, not well, but they got over it, and yeah. I'm better off for it. Yeah, they got over it? Yeah, eventually. How long, how long did it take? Well, it took him six months and my parents a couple of years, but, you know, my life is amazing without him. I, I would have had to live with this guy forever, and yeah. nice enough, but he had this jaw-clicking thing that just drove me nuts. Like, in me, conversation? I, just was always clicking his jaw, and I just, that's... I know it's a small trait and it seems really juvenile, but the fact mm -hmm. of the matter is, you, I couldn't be in love with that. Well, probably no. something deeper. Well, it's it's like a nose whistling thing. Agnes had one of those. Oh yeah. See, that would have drove you crazy all your life. When she slept, all the time. Ooh. Yeah. It Forget was... it. You don't need that in your life. Yeah. You're better off without a nose whistler. Yeah. Anyway, so I was five when I okay. came here. I see the orange marker, sorry. And um, so my family and I, we, I was five, yeah, Simone was like 11, and we came in the summertime. So there was no snow, of course. And I didn't even believe that there was snow. I thought it was all a huge <laughs> conspiracy, right? So, I wish. I know, so I started school, and uh, it was around about October, yeah, it was like Halloween, we went shopping for a pumpkin. And the snow started to fall, oh. and I was, I couldn't believe it. I, it. It didn't even stay on the ground long enough, like it melted. But I tried to save them. You know, I mean, what do I know? To take them to school the next day. And I just, I, beautiful. Yeah, I felt like a Canadian. Well, you know? Did they melt? Yeah. My, my one Thanksgiving memory has nothing to do with melting. In fact, I forgot to thaw my turkey. I was going to have this big first family Thanksgiving dinner at my house with my first husband, Scott. And, uh, so I didn't thaw it properly, so I cranked up the oven to try and see if I could make it go faster. And the outside got burnt, but we the inside was still grip. pink. Yeah. So we all sat the windows open, freezing, and it was snowing <laughs> just a little bit. And with all coats and, and gloves on, we were trying to eat what we could. Oh, it was just an absolute disaster. But oh, wow. I did put nuts in the stuffing, and uh, my mom actually said the stuffing was pretty good. <laughs> that was the last time she's actually said it was good. <laughs> <laughs> you ever put your nuts in the stuffing? <laughs> you think what you're doing is an act of generosity, but in fact, 
It's an act of selfishness, and it's not helping poor people. It's selfish going and donating my time. It's selfish. You're going to make people? yourself feel better, but you're not actually fixing the problem. You're encouraging the problem by keeping shelters open and and giving all these people the the, the option to live on the street, to give all these people the option that they can run around and have these horrible lives. Oh, because it's they so have... fun to live on the street. No, but what these people have to do is they have to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Okay, they have to take a deep breath and put the shoulder to the grindstone and work. Half of these people are sick. Those people should be put in a hospital. There's Half of these no people room are criminals. in the hospital. That's the problem. Well, look, I'm all for building hospitals to put crazy people in. I'm all for building jails to put criminals in. And the rest of them, pull it together and get out there and do some work. It's not as easy as that. So what are you saying, that, that we should take away thanks the one day that they have a chance to actually be fed properly, to actually, you know, have a bit of a good time, take that away too? Why? Why, to teach them a lesson? What's you that about? What? It's easy for you to sit here and say this. Because you live at home with mommy and daddy in the suburbs and you have your nice little time and your nice little world. It's easy for you to do that, okay? But the real world does not work like that, okay? If you were out there busting your chops, trying to make a living, paying your taxes, you would not put up with this crap. I'm educating myself so that I can help the people out there. Instead of you living in your, your little condos and with your little earpieces. If you're educating yourself, sweetheart, the lessons have just begun. That's all I'm saying. Well, if they're the lessons that you learned, I don't want to learn them. You know, it's funny, I wasn't always into Thanksgiving, eh? Because yeah. when I was little, we'd never have the traditional turkey thing. Eh? We'd always just have whatever my dad or his brother would catch, because they'd hunt around that time of year. So we, you know, it could be anything from like, you know, beaver or raccoon or like a fish. Whoa, whoa, like, whoa, whoa. You ate a raccoon? I kid you not. I kid you not, one that's time. Nasty. It was disgusting, believe you me. Do anyway, you still have no, and that's also why I can't kill any of God's creatures anymore. All right, but anyway, this one year they had a northern pike, right? This huge northern pike on the table, and I'm sitting there beaking off. I'm only like nine or ten going like, oh, this is crap. You know, why, why can't we have turkey like the other kids? And this and that. And they're like, well, we're not like other families, are we? No, and so they thing. said, you don't, you don't like what you're having for dinner? You're not going to be thankful? Get out. So they kicked me out. It was freezing cold, right? Locked the doors on me, locked the back door, locked the front door, wouldn't let me in. I'm outside looking in the windows, watching them eat this dinner. I was so hungry. I was yet. so hungry. The neighbors saw me. I knew. The, I knew the neighbor. Right? They felt sorry for me. Brought me in. Right? I had turkey. The first time I ever had turkey. Really? It was unbelievable. And I vowed from that day on, as soon as I had my own place, my own family, it was going to be turkey every year. Well, that's nice. Why didn't you just eat a squirrel when you were locked outside? You had a bunch of those running around. No, they're hard to catch. They're harder than you think to catch. Not if you're hungry. Yeah, you know, I, I run into him now and then in Montreal. Yeah? Yeah, he and his wife, have like six years. It took him six months and he's married oh. after me, yeah. It's over quick, eh? You must yeah. have hurt him, though. Broke his heart. I guess he did, but, you know, in the end, it was better for him and better for me. I was not going to be that woman. Five kids and fat, uh-uh, not me. Yeah. That wasn't going to be me. Ouch. But what was it like? I mean, the first time you saw him after, what was that like? Still clicks his jaw. <laughs> Still just as annoying. <clears throat> I know it was weird, but and it was hard. But it's good that I went through with it. Yeah. 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 It'll be hard. It's not going to be easy. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm telling you. I mean, it was weird enough bumping into her uh, brother at the grocery store. So. Yeah. Once you go through it, though, one day you might be grateful that she left you. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Sometimes the things that hurt the most are what are most beneficial in the end. Did you get that from a fortune cookie? I will completely admit, so far in my life, it's been pretty easy. Yes. You know, I've always been provided for. We've lived in amazing houses. You know, I've always had everything that I wanted. Agreed. But, you know, instead of losing any compassion that I have for others, I I've tried to open my heart and, and truly be aware of what's going on. And, and I'm proud of that, you know? I just don't want to sit in my house in, in Oakville and, and not think of others and... You know what? That's sweet. Okay, and when I, when I say sweet, I mean you're young and you're idealistic and I admire that. The world hasn't beaten it out of you yet, okay? Thank you. One day it will, but for now, you're doing well. It's coming from a realist, okay? Now, being a realist, 
when I get home, I will most likely just dispose of this turkey in the trash. So instead, I bequeath it to you and your, uh, you know, compassionate homeless kind. There you go. Enjoy. Well, thank you. And a lot of people are going to benefit because of you. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Well, good. Just, uh, it's very cold, so don't leave it there for too long or you'll get some kind of freezer burn or something. All right, let's have a look at the turkeys. Okay, line them up. Line them up. All right. It's a hobo turkey. See, he's hitting the road. He knows what's up. He's like, uh-uh, I'm out of here. I don't, I don't right? even know what, what that mind, is. Mind, what mind, what mind. See, this one looks like a goose. We'll keep this one for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's not a goose. Right. It's a turkey. Let's see. Like this. And this one, this one is just not very good. <laughs> That's not very nice. Let's see yours. Oh! See? Oh! What? That oh. is gorgeous. Well, that, what, Take a look at that. She gets paid huh? for that. That's, look at that. Yeah, but what, what's this? Huh? Bleeding? No, no, no. Those, those are like the feathers. That's he's wearing a toque because uh, he's a jive turkey. Hobo <laughs> turkey. Jive turkey. Yeah. I like this one. Okay, make twelve more of these. Okay, they got to uh, line okay, the table. Thanks. Twelve more. You guys take a break. It's not that good. Oh no, come on. It's not on. nearly it's as good as that one. Colorful. It's incredible. Got a My daughters on. are gonna love it. Oh, so Canadian. Here's the scissors. Thank you. Get to work. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Anyway, no, I don't understand what this one is here. Well, see, he knows he's gonna get killed, so he's like, I'm hitting the road. I'm oh, out he's here. leaving. He's leaving. He's out. He's going on the road. Yeah, he doesn't so like Thanksgiving more than that. Hello, my third class.